This week on Canada in the Rough, we're hunting caribou in Nunavut. Kevin Beasley is traveling north to hunt central barren ground caribou with Hannock Lake Adventures on today's episode. Kevin is surrounded by big bulls and also enjoys some world-class fishing during his week-long hunt. Join us for an exciting caribou adventure this week on Canada in the Rough. We just arrived into the beautiful territory of none of it. After a couple short flights, we arrived here at Hennick Lake Adventures and we're going to be going after Central Barren Ground Caribou. We've actually brought the bow and the gun along with us. Depending on the situation, if it allows for us to stalk in with the bow, we will. But if the terrain doesn't allow it, we'll pull out the gun. We're just going to shoot the gun now and see how it's shooting. Kevin will be hunting central barren ground caribou from the Great Camarjuic Herd, which resides primarily in Manitoba and Nunavut, with portions in southeastern Northwest Territories and northeastern Saskatchewan. Caribou are migratory animals and can travel in herds of several thousand strong and often cover 4,000 kilometers in a single year. Well, we woke up this morning and checked outside and it is not the nicest day out there. Heavy winds and a light rain. And the way we hunt right here is we jump in boats and head out to the shorelines and do a lot of glassing and looking for caribou. So it's gonna be a rough time going across that water and not the most favorable conditions for hunting, but hopefully the caribou will be moving in this storm. That whole shoreline all the way over to here, just scattered with them. Real nice bezes and shovel. Beautiful bez and shovel, eh? Yeah. These tops are not much at all. These guys are right there. Yeah. All right, right on top of this. We're going to pull over this ridge out of the side. Yeah, I want to stock in on with all these. These ones are not spooky, but if we keep pulling up on them. A couple of nice bowls in there, one with a really big shovel. Not much on top though, so we're gonna pass on these ones and keep them up there. Bear.
Well, we're just getting ready to head out for our morning hunt, and we're not getting the most favorable conditions on this trip. We're getting a lot of fog, a lot of mist, and uh, cooler weather. But we're just getting ready to head out with Jason, and we're hoping we'll find some bulls this morning. Surrounded by cows. They're just all over the place. There's some way over there by the tree line. There's a big one on the right up here. There's actually two. But the big one, but the big mane is over here. There's another big one bedded here. And there's a big one over here, over here by the... Oh, he's by the... The one's by the tree line over there. All right, Jason, you ready to move? Yeah. OK. We're just going to work our way over this this ridge here and get on the back side and work our way into the, the wind's blowing this way. So we're going to try to get downwind. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get into range, eh? Yeah, try and get him again. a big cat in this game. There's one that's got a big chocolate rack. He's got big tall tops that have kickers coming off the top points. Then there's one that's got this big white beautiful mane. He's got palmation on the top, a big shovel, beautiful bulls. This is the kind of problem you have when you come to the none of it. Good problem to have. <laughs> with hunting when there's so many animals around. But there's eyes everywhere. They just keep, they keep spooking on us and keep running away from us. So I don't know if we're gonna catch up to them, but we're gonna go check over this ridge one more time and have a look and see if they're gone. We've just seen them all take off, but uh, we'll go have a quick look and if they didn't go far, we might keep going. Ready? Let's go again. <laughs> 
future attempts at stalking the herd proved futile for Kevin and Jason. So they headed back to camp at the end of the day to enjoy a warm cooked meal and swap hunting stories with the rest of the hunters in camp. Later that night, everyone was treated to the raw beauty of the Aurora Borealis, commonly known as the Northern Lights. The following morning, Kevin couldn't resist getting his rod out to explore some of the renowned remote Nunavut lakes, and they didn't disappoint. Kevin and Jason landed some monster northern pike and even some beautiful lake trout. Nice pike. Beautiful fish right there. It's a lake trout, Jason. A beautiful Nunavut lake trout right there. Oh, it's a nice pike. Nice pike. Beautiful. Perfect. Beautiful pike. Stopping glass and there's caribou everywhere. And we think we spotted some bigger ones actually farther back on the mountain sign up here. And uh, we're gonna go try to take a closer look and uh, hope there'll be one that we'll, we'll go after. They're right just above that dip. So they should be within range if we can get to that dip. Eh? Yeah. Okay, well that's cool. It's, it's a nicer walk and the wind's blowing right in our face, so it's perfect wind. I'll cut this way here and cut across. Perfect. Just to skip up here and try to get around. Yeah, it's cool. And we have the hill to our advantage. Yeah. And they could drop right in on us if we had enough time. For sure. Yeah. And we'll just watch. Okay. Well, let's go then. We just watched them cross and go around this hill. So we're going to sneak back in the bottom side. We're almost there. So we're going to just creep up to this top of this ridge right here, have a peek over, and see where they are. Jason will crawl up here. We'll try to get 20 yards up here, and he might come a little closer to us.
leave it. Just come on. Let me see the gun. This might be my only chance. Right there, ain't hey, Jason? Yeah. <laughs> Jason, holy jumpers, buddy. Did we ever just put on a stock? Oh my gosh. Congratulations. <gasps> oh my goodness. We just came probably five miles off the lake. <laughs> we spotted them from a ways off knew it was the one that we wanted, and we just came up and put a stock on him. He didn't get within bull range, but with this weather and these conditions, you don't have many opportunities yeah, to get within bull the, range, right? Well, the cows and the cows, yeah, all the eyes. Yeah, that's right. Are so we, try, we tried it. We, we tried to make it happen with the bull, but it wasn't able to. But we got a big bull down right there. Jason, thank you so much, buddy. Yeah, I really appreciate that. That is a beautiful bull, and let's go get our hands on him. Yeah. That is a beautiful sight right there, Jason, to walk up on. Look at those antlers sticking up above the willows. Look at this beautiful caribou, Jason. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, look at these big tops, wow. eh? Beautiful. They still even oh, look bald. Long and... look, how, look at them, still bald in September. That's crazy. Yeah. This is a bull that has everything. When you're looking for a big caribou, he's got everything. He's got double shovels down here, big bezes. He's got back nice scratchers, scratchers too. Look at those back scratchers. And then giant tops on him. When Beautiful. we seen him about three miles back and he was bedded, all we could see were these giant tops. Yeah, just the top. And you know what, when we got up there, I was watching him going. I thought, this is a bull of a lifetime. I can't let this bull get away from me. Mm -hmm. So you passed me the rifle and we, we made it happen. I, I would have been heartbroken if he disappeared. Thank you so much, man. This is a bull that I will cherish. He is absolutely gorgeous, and what an experience it was. Thank you, man. Well, we decided to come in for a quick fish before we fly out. And what a great time we've had up here at Hennick Lake Adventures. They sure are a great outfit, and I will definitely be looking to come back here another time. One of the things I love about coming to Nunavut is that every time I come here, I see so many animals. And this week, I was able to spend time with people at camp and see the different characteristics that they liked about caribou. Some of them like shovels or bezes or back scratchers or great tops. And luckily enough, I was able to find an animal that I was thrilled to put my tag on. If you're ever looking to do a caribou hunt, you gotta check out none of it. I'm your host, Kevin Beasley from Canada Rough. Enjoy the greatness of Canada. Be proud of your hunting heritage. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. For more great videos and content, please subscribe to our page and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see. And to follow our amazing adventures around Canada, Please join us on Facebook and Instagram.